Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today, we will be reading a blog post that I have written. This Let me start from the beginning. This post was made to a, a previous post that I... Okay, I was like in the the thought process but got stuck and then this new post blew the first one out of the water if that makes any sense um the post is hmm, what makes you you Is it your soul? Or do we do... The other question is, what makes you, you? Do you have a soul? Do you believe in souls, spirits, etc.? My response to this deep question of what makes us who we are your soul makes you who you are and how you think i view the world much different than a human 3d person because of this i know i am a light being an angel how i think is from my soul. This body, this life, did not make me who I am. My soul is who I am. My soul made me me. This life did not change me nor created me. I woke up to my soul. I learned what I hate and from that, I know I am very different from the ordinary humans. Humans are but clones of each other. Humans are drones. To me, be... <laughs> to me, being human means following the crowd. Why stand out? when I could stand inside the crowd and be invisible. That is the human response I have seen. We do not like outsiders. We do not like outcasts. We don't like you if you stand out. That is the response I have seen and how I have personally been treated. People give you odd styles when they do not understand why you look the certain way or dress the certain way. Furry community is quite known for this. They get these styles, people come up to them if they want to know more or they just shake their head and walk the other way because they don't understand it and they hate it or they feel it is wrong or whatever the case may be but that is the human 3d response everything that i just said goes to the 3d humans not 4d and not 5d because they, those type of people are more open-minded. Right now, I am talking towards the 3D people who are closed-minded. So they will attack you more for standing out. My light, my magic, is much different. I stand out of the crowd 
From this, I know I am very different. I know I am a light being. The struggles within have shown. Okay, tried to rewrite that as I went. Failed. The struggles within show us more about what we are, more than anything. I worded that very hard.、Uh, the struggles within help us locate more about who we are, what we are. Through the struggles, we either know more about us, or we are not accepting of it. We either ignore it or we see beyond, see deeper, rather than just blowing it off. The struggles can mean mental struggles, seeing images inside your head, and or hearing voices in your head. It can mean multiple of things. For me, it has been、uh, both、uh, seeing th- through with my third eye the pineal gland,、um, having these images that I call visions,、uh, trances. Then, at the same time, you are hearing voices in your head that you know are evil, just by. The frequency you are picking up, you can tell whether or not it is evil or light just by the way it talks, the energy that it gives off. However, I do know demons can and will mask themselves as light beings. Pretending to be of the light when they are not, they are trying to trick you. So always be cautious and pick up on how they are talking. That is another key thing. When you know how a angel speaks versus a demon, you can easily spot the difference and. Decide for yourself: Is this entity evil or good? For me, I have met both. In my mind, voices that enter、uh, spirit mediums is is quite common with spirit mediums hearing voices or picking up on frequencies. But for me, I know. My soul made me, not this life, not Earth, because I came from 9D. I came from being an Anunnaki, a light being, an angel, a dragon, a goddess, a divine being of high intellect. I say that because on 9D you will have a much higher IQ. Than what Earth can manifest. Right now, the highest is I don't even know what the highest is. I never googled that. The point is, I know this vessel. This soul is not my first life. I've always felt I had multiple lives, or I have felt I am much older than this life. An old soul is commonly known for that. We feel much older. We do not understand this world. We there's many different trades. You can Google that for yourself. Do your own research, and come up with your own answers if you are old or a newer soul. However, a newer soul would be what. Ah,、uh, probably a demon.
in my opinion. They are going to follow the crowd more. They are going to be stuck in the matrix more easily. They are here to distract you from the light. They are immature. Um, older souls are more mature than... Uh, okay, take, take for instance a an 18 year old. You can either act really immature or more mature than your age and act like a 30 year old mature person. Uh, for me, I am more mature than my age. Which probably has something to do with, again, the soul. The... You think this life shaped you, this planet? You have the full control. Your mind is... Okay, how do I say this? You are what you... No. You are your own reality. Therefore, whatever you pay attention to, again, you given the control, you are paying attention to this. Therefore, you are controlling what you see, what you hear, what you think. Again, your thoughts control your reality. Therefore, this world is basically the makeup of what you want in your life. Meaning, your soul is a product of that. For me, being a light worker, star seed, light being, I know I am against crime. Kill the murderers. They should not be alive. Penalty by death, um, death penalty, I believe in that. Uh, animal abuse, cannot stand it. Nature destroyers, hate them. It begins to sink in these patterns that I follow, that I listen to, that I... I consume on a daily basis the music, the TV, the video games, books, etc. All of this is a byproduct of the soul, which is part of your mind. Your soul gives you a part of your reality because, once again, you are controlling, shaping your reality. Whatever you pay attention to, you're given that power over you. Therefore, when you are aware of these these things we take for granted, whatever it is, then you get to not be the pawn, but you control everything. Life does not control you. You control it. And everyone else just... We do what we do. Do we really? Or are you being... Uh, played by life? Many people just... Don't... Use more of their brain. Basically, I have... Now I've just hurt my brain. Ow. Uh, uh, basically, the uh, the higher frequency... Again, I talked about this previously. The higher dimension you came from, the higher it is to relay that information. Right now, I have hit a wall, and I cannot describe it. What I'm trying to describe any easier, because I'm aware of it, and if you're not, then 
I can't show you. You have to pick on the signs for yourself. You have to use your eyes, your mind, your sixth sense, if you will, the hidden sense, the spirit sense, and then you can start to see through the matrix. That is what I am trying to say. Since I am fully aware of these things, then that's all I have. Once you're well, you're well. You can see through everything. When you start to notice this, whatever it is, that's when you're extending. You are evolving. You are going from three D. To forty, to five D, and beyond. Once you start to become aware of these things, for me, it's like I'm already on five D and never left. Okay, it's just the easiest way to say this is, I haven't changed. I think I have. No, my soul never changed. I just became aware of it. Therefore, looking back is like, oh, now I get why I did that. Looking back, I was three D going into four D, going into five D. I now see the upgrade, the changes that took place. What changes? I just. Became aware of my soul. I haven't changed at all. I just became aware of what I am, aware of who I am, more and more. Therefore, I am only changing into what I am. Think about that. Once you are an angel, you are an angel. You cannot change your soul race. If you are a demon, you will never become good. Never. You can't. You can't. People have tricked you into believing that. You cannot forgive demons. You cannot love demons. That is probably why. The story is trickster.、Uh, some about fallen angels will trick you. Yeah, so I can't can't really relay that any easier because I I don't really remember the whole story. But I do know that demons have tricked people, and we let them. Because we forgave them, or we gave them the d- benefit of the doubt. Therefore, we should have never done that in the first place. I have done that myself, and turns out he was fake from the beginning. He was a demon the whole time, and I thought he was a light. No, turns out I was wrong the whole time because I kept giving him. Chance after chance after chance, way too many times. Never forgive demons. Never love them. Kick energy vampires out of your life. That is just one example out of many. I thank you for your time, and until we meet again.